Hi everyone, after we did the installation of the Raspberry, now I want to show you how to install the software for your Raspberry Z-Wave controller, which is sticked on your Raspberry Pi. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 with a clean Raspbian installation. And to uh, operate your home and your home automation system, you have to download software to uh, control your um, daughter card on your Raspberry Pi. The um, installation is very simple. <clears throat> you should, can just download it from the internet, go to the website of Raspberry, there uh, just type in uh, on browser raspberry zwave.me and you will come to the website. On this website you will find some information about the Raspberry and of course the download section. Click on there and you will see there in the description uh, what you have to enter in Linux to install and download the software for the Raspberry Pi. So this I'm going to do. I'm just connect to my Raspberry Pi using PuTTY. This is my Pi. Open it and you will see there's a login. I have to log in as a Pi and with my password. And after it, you will see Raspberry saying hello. And on the command line, you can now enter the things what was uh, written on the website. You just enter is, press enter, and you will see a lot of files are downloading. And you see as well, there's a lot of data to download and to install. So it will take a little bit. I think in the meantime, we already can open a new tab in the browser that we can quick connect to our software to inst after installation and setting it up. So now we still have to wait a little bit. The um, software is still downloading. There are a lot of packages to be installed and to be uh, uh, downloaded. By the way, if you want to update your uh, software, it's the same command you have to enter there and Raspberry will download the necessary files and uh, will do the update um, on its own way. It's the same procedure like downloading a new one. Um, you would see now uh, starting the Z-Wave server, so already installation is finished and we have to just wait a little bit until the command prompt is there and after we will connect to our server. So it just takes a while, but I think it's already done. Z-Wave server is operating and yeah, yeah, now it is there. P is having a command prompt and we are closing this tab, going to our web browser. Now in every web browser on the world you can connect to your Pi. You just type in on your web browser uh, find zwave.me, enter it, and now you are connected to the uh, ZW server. There you can enter your remote ID, which you are getting after the first time connecting to your ZW, and the password, and with this you can open from every web a browser in the world your Z-Wave and can control your home, how it works and what the uh, uh, sensors are saying. In this way we have connected in the same network and you will see under the um, uh, login window you will see direct connect to Z-Wave and there is the IP address of your Raspberry. So if you lost your Raspberry and you don't know your IP address, even there is an option to um, enter it and you will see your Raspberry IP. Just click on it and for the first time you will enter your smart home. Um, the server isn't so fast, so that's why you will see this errors, but just wait a while 
and you will see it's clearly and you can have it. This error happens every time, I don't know why, but doesn't matter, just say OK and it will come in. There you can type in your login, say admin, and the first time you don't have a password, I did it already. So I have to enter the password. If you, as I said, if you're logging in the first time, you don't have to enter the password. Just click on login and you're on your dashboard of your Raspberry. There you can see now there's nothing, it's empty. And uh, just click on continue and you will see your dashboard is ready. How it looks uh, as well. Wait a little bit. I should continue one more. And now you can see it clearly and read it clearly. You see the expert users, the only app which is right now activated. Uh, now you have to install or can install all your elements, what you want. You can edit what you want. You can set it up like you want, but this will show you in the next video. See you there. Bye.